Well, again, everybody, it's Plowboy, Plowboy's Ghost Channel. Do a quick little video to show y'all something I picked up new today. It would be my new foray into something bigger bore than a 45 caliber. This is a Ruger Super Black Hawk Bisley, a 4 and 5 eighths barrel, and it is unloaded. Holding the camera is going to be very difficult to show y'all, but I have to take my word for it. Eh, maybe that'll do. Anyway, this one is in. Uh, it ain't going to show up. This one's in 480 Ruger. So, what can I tell you about this? Well, I can tell you that the uh, Raging Bull, the five and a half, excuse me, the five inch Raging Bull got gone today. And in its place is something just a little bit bigger board. Now, I know that 454 Casool is a main caliber. But y'all, I've had four 454 Casools, and I just wanted something bigger. I just wanted something bigger than what I had. Uh, I had thought on 500 JRH and a BFR or something, but y'all, that's just going to be too daggum difficult to, to work out brass for. And I would prefer to, uh, to do it this way. So I am going to order some dies, 400 grain Lee bullet mold, get in with uh, Lee on getting me a sizing die because it looks like I'm going to have to have them do me one special order or custom or whatever. They used to sell them through Midway, but for some reason it must be discontinued. So I'll have to get one of them. I may have to wait a few weeks on it. But uh, the rest of it, they've got some uh, crimp dies. I think they had some on their website for an overrun. Anyway, so that's available at the moment. Got to order a few things, and I'm going to start loading up some H110 uh, for uh, 480 Ruger. In the meantime, I've got some Hornady, uh, Hornady Custom 325 grain XTPs. At least the hollow point ought to do something on a water jug. Y'all, I'm going to tell you what it is for me. Is I just like a single action when it comes to the super powerful stuff. Now, don't get me wrong. I've, I love my Smith & Wesson Model 29. I wore it down there today to get this gun, and I wore it home, and I wore it since then. And I'm going to continue to because I love a 4-inch 29, and I love 44 Magnum. But sometimes, I, I don't know. I just kind of wanted something a little bit bigger. So this is where we are. This will be a carryable package. Uh, I read that loaded up to its potential. It's not really leaving a whole lot on the table uh, behind 475 line ball. So I think, from what I've read, that this is capable to, of taking anything in this world that I'm ever going to want to take with it, which probably won't be much, but hey, overkill still a kill. We'll set up a few water jugs, and if this battery holds out, y'all will get to see the very first shots through it. Stay tuned. Those are my first shots ever from a 480. You know, it feels like the gun's moving more, rising more than a than my. Uh, well, I know it is more than my Raging Bull 454 was, but you know, y'all got to remember it was it was double action and it was ported or had a compensated you know end to it, so it's. Uh, it was a different beast altogether. Anyway, y'all, I know that's not very in depth, but I feel good to be back in a single action. And finally, my bigger bore uses a bigger bore, uses a bigger diameter bullet than what I have been. Something in the bigger than 45 club, finally. Y'all, that feels like something. I can't wait to load up some uh, 400 plus grain cash bullets and and jack it up just a little bit and see what she's made of. All right, I appreciate y'all watching. Talk to you later.